Hey guys, JMM Review here, and today I'm bringing you a Dead Island Riptide playthrough. I'm going to start up a new game, and I'm actually going to import my character from Dead Island 1, as I am A. Uh, there is a new guy in this game, but he's a. Uh... Oh, I'm going to I'm going to skip cutscenes, and I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip cutscenes because I just I don't think they're really interesting to watch, or at least I don't find them interesting to watch. So I'll skip as many of them as I can. All you need to know is that since the last game we um, escaped in a helicopter but landed on this kind of military craft and uh, like an aircraft carrier I think or some kind of boat anyway, and um, yeah. We're um, they know we're immune and they want to keep us because of that reason, and uh, everything's kind of went uh, tits up basically. Uh, of course it would do. So there's some zombies and stuff. I'm playing as Zaya May because I I think she's um, her stamina is great and she's good with blade weapons, which is quite good. And I'm gonna get a trusty crowbar. And uh, I've just. I've, since this has come out like a couple of days ago, I've been playing it quite a lot actually, and it's quite addictive. Um, if you were a fan of the first one, then you'll definitely like this one. Uh, I think this is a much improved version, and uh, you'll see why hopefully whenever we keep playing. I'll just kind of highlight points that I liked about it. This part here is really more of a tutorial than anything else. It's just to get you to grips with it, I think. Um, and I, I see it's quite a nice little bit because you get to use some uh, guns and stuff on the boat. No one here, Captain. Um, but unfortunately, I think this bit's the only bit in the game that isn't actually co-op. I think it's just to give you a taste on your own, really. Um, but I'm hoping this playthrough will continue and hopefully uh, we'll, I'll have new people to play with as well, because it's a co-op game it would be really nice to, to actually do a co-op playthrough and I've talked to Fifi11 if you remember him from the last one and I hope he's going to buy the game and uh, you know maybe do a few playthroughs with me but if not and he doesn't want to get it then I'm definitely open to to like applicants I suppose if anyone else wants to play with me and I mean, the only thing I would ask is if uh, that you have your own microphone and re you record your own voice, that's it. You don't have to have a capture card or anything like that. As long as you have a copy of the game. Uh, the best way to probably get in contact with me about it is on my website, which I'll put a link to or something in the description. So here we have our first walker. Oh! <laughs> I like how they try and grab you and, and eat you. And I'm out of stamina. Yeah, aiming for the head is a uh, is definitely almost crucial in this game. It it does so much more damage, which I'm I'm glad to see. I need to get out of here. Place button. Oh shit! <laughs> Where do you come from? I actually... Oh shit! No! I actually like how the walkers are quite um, docile in that they don't really... You know, they kind of creep up on you. And you'll see that there's ones like over there that are just feeding in the background. Like, if you don't annoy them, in most cases they won't annoy you, which is kind of cool. Um, whereas the... The um, infected will, will be much more energetic and really try and eat you and run after you a lot more. But we'll see different types of, of the zombies as we go on. I'm actually quite low on health, so I think I'll probably take health. The cool thing is you can just sort of run past as much of them and then just like close the door behind yourself and they'll not they'll not be able to get through. 
Oh, I think we have our first infected, possibly. Yeah, I'm just going to run past most of them because. It's just too much water. The ship's going down. Um, it's the game's always set up in that kind of way that you can just run past them. Yeah, he's an infected, so you see he's like really trying to come after me a lot more. Damn, I'm getting swamped. There's water everywhere. Yeah, you can get into a bit more of a panic in this game. You can just creep up on you. Okay, I'll try and get to the exit. The thing about this training stage as well is that you don't get to keep your weapon, so you might as well just kind of make your way through as quickly as you can. And here we have our first gun. It gives you a gun a lot earlier on in this version, uh, in this game, compared to the other one. And you can see the atmosphere is hugely improved. And it likes to throw you about a lot. You get a shotgun. Yeah, the atmosphere and the weather effects are much better and so is the music as well but I'll, okay, I'll get to that later as well so here we have a, a good opportunity to try out the pistol and you can see a one head shot will just take them out whoa providing you can hit them in the head someone has to take control of the ship um, Oh, this guy's wearing a helmet, I think. Yeah, and I'm a terrible shot too. Yeah, there we go. Um, I remember a comment, I said that it would be good if games, zombie games, were like a one shot to the head would kill them. And a, a comment on that was, oh, the game would be too easy, but it's actually really hard to, there you go. It's really hard to get a headshot sometimes because of the way the zombies move as well um, and I think this game's got quite a good balance that if you and even better than the first one because in the first one the, the guns I don't think did that much you could headshot all day and it wouldn't really affect them sometimes there you go, see that's much better I think that's much improved Try the shotgun. Oh, hold on. Let's try this out for size. Well, I don't know if this shotgun's not good or I'm gonna go back to the pistol. This guy seems to be harder to kill if he's wearing a helmet. Okay, I think I'm actually going to cut the video here. Um, let's see, I'll get up on these crates. Yeah, I'll cut the video here where we've where I'm about to go on deck. I'll show you an actual cool feature first. You can like jump from above and stomp on the zombies' heads now.
Okay, so up there's going to be a cutscene, so I'm going to I'm going to end the video here now, and um, and now we've got a bit of time. I'll I'll keep going. <laughs> we'll fight our first uh, thug, and then we'll. So we've got a machine gun now. Thug. Incoming. I'm gonna go use my rage. Okay, that took care of them. I think I'll actually get the money from this guy, yeah. The thugs usually carry quite a bit of money. So I basically just have to make my way to the bridge and then I think I'll end the video, because that's going to be the end of the train stage, and then we get onto the island, which is an entirely new island. Oh! Okay, guess that's when the shotgun comes into its own whenever you kind of aim in like that. <laughs> we have to fight like a kind of end end guy. Oh, they were all critical. Which is this guy down here. Like the captain. This is something new they've introduced as well, like this kind of end guy. He'll be a special ty type of just the usual. What he's basically not quite a thug, but more health than the normal zombies. I think that's it. That's pretty much it for the train stage. And um, when we come back in the next video, I'll be on the uh, beach and I'll be able to show you a little bit more about the game and uh, the new features. So thanks for watching this uh, intro and. Uh, have a look out for the new video. Oh, and if you want to um, maybe join me in a co-op, then the best place to apply would be my forum if you want to message me on there, which is www.jmmreview.co.uk. So thanks for watching and keep an eye out for the next video.